What the tech world is buzzing about why the M5 iPad Pro is not just another release looking back at the M4 iPad Pro key achievements why it set a new standard, what we know so far about the M5 iPad Pro no major design change M5 chip, and what makes it different manufacturing process in 3P real world benefits of the M5 chip performance versus M4 why raw power still matters pro users. 3D rendering, video editing, multitasking the bigger picture, display advancements. Introduction to COF chip on film, what thinner bezels really mean more immersive displays, battery life, RAM. And connectivity, why battery won't drastically change RAM increase to 16 gigabytes and what it allows Wi-Fi 7. Why it's a big deal professional use and future-proofing who will benefit the most the M5 iPad as a long-term investment future software taking advantage of the hardware section. 2. Apple's long game, laying the ground for foldables, 5,000 words Apple's strategy behind the scenes, why the M5 is about more than specs, supply chain moves, COF technology, and display manufacturing deep dive into COF partners. Like LG and 60 Semicon, how this tech sets the stage for foldables foldables, not if. But when what Apple's roadmap hints at competitor analysis market readiness the future of iPados and hardware synergy software catching up to hardware what users can expect in future workflows why skipping M5 might be smart buying. Strategy tips, M4 price drop predictions, who should wait closing thoughts and takeaways, final summary long term vision what users should watch for now. Here is the script for section 1. Approximately 5,000 words title. The M5 iPad Pro, more than just a power upgrade, let's talk about the future of tablets. Apple is preparing its next step in the iPad Pro lineup, and the tech world is paying close attention. This isn't just about faster chips or new colors. According to leaks from reliable sources, the M5 iPad Pro could be a turning point not only for the iPad series, but for Apple's long-term strategy, this isn't a major design overhaul. But that's not the real story here. This is about what Apple is quietly building behind the scenes. The M5 iPad Pro could be the first real step towards something bigger, like foldable tablets and display technology that looks like science fiction. But before we look too far into the future, Let's begin with what we know today. Looking back at the M4 iPad Pro earlier in 2024, Apple launched the M4 iPad Pro. That model was a big leap forward. It brought us a thinner design, a new chassis, and introduced old displays to the iPad Pro lineup. People were stunned by the visuals. Blacks were deeper, colors were more accurate. It was the kind of display professionals dream of, performance-wise. The M4 chip pushed the limits of what a tablet could do. It wasn't just fast, it was desktop class fast. You could edit 4K video, work in 3D apps, and run complex multitasking environments with ease. So now, you might be wondering, why do we need an M5 iPad Pro? Here's where things get interesting. The M5 iPad Pro a strategic upgrade leaked information from suppliers in Korea and China shows that Apple isn't resting. They're working on something bigger, and the M5 iPad Pro might be the foundation. At first glance, it may look like a simple upgrade, a faster chip, maybe more memory. That's what it seems like on the surface. But under the hood, the M5 chip is a game changer. It's expected to be built using TSMC's and 3 p process. That's a more advanced version of the 3 nanometer tech used for earlier chips. In simple terms, it means the chip will be more powerful and use less energy, better performance, better battery life. Same compact as, but why does this matter if the M4 is already powerful enough? Let's break it down. Why performance still matters even though the M4 is incredibly fast? Technology keeps evolving. Software gets more demanding. Apps get smarter and heavier. Users push their devices harder every year. That's especially true for creative professionals. Think of people who edit multi-layered video projects, design 3D environments, or use advanced music production apps. These users don't just want speed, they need stability, smooth multitasking, and no lag. That's where the M5 chip delivers. Early reports suggest Apple will stick to its usual 20% year-over-year performance gain. 
That might not sound huge, but it adds up. And for pro users, every second saved is valuable. The M5 chip isn't just about being faster. It's about being more efficient. It keeps temperatures lower. It uses less battery. And it's built too. Handle apps that haven't even been released yet. In other words, it's future proof. Display innovation is quietly evolving. Now let's talk about something most people miss display technology. While the outer design of the M5 iPad Pro might stay the same, Apple is quietly preparing for major changes in how displays are built. A big part of this is something called DOF chip on film. This tech lets display driver chips be placed closer to the edge of the screen. Normally, these chips take up space and create thicker bezels, but with COF, that space gets smaller. That means thinner bezels and a more immersive display. This isn't just speculation. Trusted leakers like Instant Digital are reporting that future iPads could have bezels as thin as Samsung's Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. That's seriously thin. So even if the M5 model doesn't have those ultra-thin bezels just yet, Apple is laying the groundwork now. They're changing how the screen is made to prepare for what's coming next. And that's a clue. Apple is building toward foldables. Think about it. Why is Apple so focused on display tech? Why invest in COF, thinner bezels, and tighter integration? Because foldables are coming. Apple isn't rushing it. They want the tech to be perfect. And they're using the M5 iPad Pro as a step in that direction. This model will keep the current design. But everything else how it's built, how the display connects, how the internals are arranged is preparing for a more flexible future. Ram bump, what it really means along with the new chip. Rumors say Apple may increase the base RAM too. 16 gigabytes across all models. That's a big deal. More RAM means more apps can stay open in memory. You can work with larger files. And you can switch between tasks without slowing down. For designers, editors, coders, or anyone doing serious work, 16 gigabytes makes a difference. It's the kind of upgrade you feel every day. And it aligns with the future direction of iPados. As the software becomes more like Mac OS, it needs more memory to deliver smooth performance. Wi-Fi 7, the need for speed. Let's talk about connectivity. Wi-Fi 7 is expected to be part of the M5 iPad Pro. If you don't know what that is, think of it like this. It's the next generation of wireless speed. It means faster downloads, more stable video calls, smoother streaming, better file transfers. But most importantly, it's about keeping the iPad Pro relevant for years. Professional users don't want to upgrade every year. They want a device that can last. So having Wi-Fi 7 built in makes sure it stays fast. Even when internet standards evolve, what about battery life? Here's the truth. Battery life probably won't change much. Apple has consistently aimed for around 10 hours of battery on every iPad since the beginning. That's not likely to change this year. But don't be disappointed. That battery life will now support a more powerful chip, more RAM, and a brighter display. So even if the number stays the same, the efficiency is improving. You're getting more work done with the same battery capacity. And that's still a win. Who is this iPad for? So who should be paying attention to the M5 iPad Pro? If you already own the M for iPad Pro, the M5 may not feel like a huge jump unless you're someone who needs every ounce of speed. But for users with an M1 or older model, this is a major upgrade. You get a better display, more memory, faster performance and longer support for future apps. This is the iPad built for the next five years. And if Apple's software continues to evolve, especially iPad as it's only going to get more capable. Buying advice, wait, watch, then act. There's a smart strategy. Wait until the M5 iPad Pro is released. Once it hits the market, retailers will likely discount the M4 version. If you're not someone who needs the latest chip, the M4 could be a great deal. It still has the old display. It's still fast. And it will stay relevant for years. But if you want to future-proof your setup, the M5 is worth the wait, even if it looks the same on the outside. 
everything that matters is being upgraded underneath. 